What's up, Guru Gang? It's your girl, Sim, also known as The Thrift Guru, and today we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a dope DIY on how I make tapestry joggers. I know that you guys have been seeing it on my website, and they're a lot of fun to make, and I've been seeing some videos that look a little bit complicated, so I'm going to try my best to make it a little bit easier. So go ahead, like this video. Go ahead, comment down below if you're excited to see how this DIY is done. Also, let me know if you guys try this DIY on your own, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. The goal is still 5K subscribers by the end of this year, and I need your help to get me there. So without further ado, let's get straight into this DIY. All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you the easiest way possible that I know how to make these tapestry pants. Like I said, I've been seeing a lot of videos on this, but they were kind of a little bit complicated for me. So I'm going to see if I can put my little guru touch and make it a little bit easier for you guys. So the only thing that you're going to need right now is some scissors and a pair of jeans or pants that you like the way they fit. So the first thing you're going to do is there's two ways that you can fold your jeans. You can show, fold it to where the butt is showing, and this is going to be the back. And you can also fold it to where the front is showing, and this is gonna be the front of your joggers, so that's very important. So we're gonna start cutting the front of our joggers. So if you want your joggers that have the frill on the side, you're gonna to have to start on the side. So how I do it is I fold it in the front, I make sure that that crotch is poking out, and then I lay it all the way on the edge of the blanket. Once you have it laid out, you're basically just gonna do the cutout of it, Always make sure that you are over cutting. If you guys don't take anything away from this video, over cut. I'm not going to cut exactly on the line. I'm gonna go out like a good four inches over just so I know that it's really, really big and baggy because I like my joggers to be baggy. And then of course, if it's too big for you, you can always go back later and hem it. So we are going to cut out about two to four inches of seam allowance for the front of the pants. Let's do that first. Okay, so I went ahead and removed the jean because we do not need it for this next part, but it is very important, so please listen. Now, you're gonna need two pieces of the front of your jeans, right, of your joggers. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna take this piece right here, we're gonna flip it so it's on the reverse side, drag it over to the opposite end, and then cut. The reason why it's very important to flip it over is because if you do not do that, you're gonna end up with joggers that have one leg that's inside out and the other leg that's right side in. So you have to make sure that whenever you cut out these pieces, one should be on the front, the other one should be on the back. And we're going to cut it again on this side. All right, you guys, so I have cut out the two panels of my front piece of the jeans. So I'm gonna push these to the side real quick. We're gonna come back to it and now we're gonna do the back panel of the joggers. Go back to whatever you're using as your trace out is facing front. So now we are gonna flip it to the back. Make sure that crotch is poking out and we are going to cut the same exact thing on this blanket. We're gonna start off going this way and then we will flip it. You guys will see that next, but we're gonna start off with this way first. All right, we have just cut out the first part of the butt. You guys are going to see it now. It is this, so what I taught you, you're going to now flip it and cut out the second part of the back on this end. All right, you guys, so now we have our two back pieces and we have our two front pieces. I'm gonna show you how these both come together, very simply. So these are the back, like I just said, right? So what are you gonna do is you're gonna make sure that the two points where the crotch is, that they meet together. So these are the backs, and now we're going to bring the fronts that we just finished cutting out. All right, so right now, you guys are looking at the rough draft cutout of your pants. Now for the sewing part, which is simply just sewing. So for the sewing, you can use a zigzag stitch, that's what I use. If you have a serger, that's all great and perfect, but you guys definitely can do this with just a simple zigzag stitch. So we're going to sew them up front first, back second, doesn't matter which way you do it, but it makes it easier. So we're gonna grab these two front pieces. You guys can already tell. 
we're going to fold them to where they're kissing each other. And then we are going to sew from the top all the way to where the crotch is and then stop. We are not going to sew the legs together because if you do that, you won't have a place to put your legs and you just sewed a very long skirt. So again, you are going to take these two, sew it all the way right here up until the crotch. And I'll show you guys how that looks. And then when you're done with that, same thing, pull them to where they're both, hit, both facing each other. And then you're gonna sew from right here all the way to the crotch and then stop. And I'll show you guys that. All right, you guys, so now we have officially sewn up the back piece and the front piece leading all the way down to the inseam or the crotch, like I call it. So this is the back. And then this is the front. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure that the side that you want to wear it on is touching the other side that you want to wear it on. So it should look something like this because when we're all done we're going to turn it the right side out so as you guys see this is how it should look it's almost like i did like a sandwich we are going to sew the sides up we're going to sew the sides of the leg and then the only thing that will be left to sew is the inside so we're going to start with the outside first so if you want these little fringes to show the trick is you just fold it in a little bit like that and then you will sew down like that. So I fold it in and sew it down. That way, by the time you turn it right side out, it'll be poking out, as you guys can see right here. So just watch again, fold it in as we sew a zigzag stitch all the way down. All right, y'all, so now I have officially finished sewing up this side and this side, and now all that is left to sew is the middle part for right now. So we're gonna sew the middle part up you literally just match the two crotch pieces together like so, and then you're gonna sew from one end of the leg all the way to the next end of the leg. So I'll show you guys when I'm done doing that. All right, y'all, I am back and everything is sewn up, the sides, the inseam, every little thing. So what you're going to do next is turn the pants right side out. So all you got to do, Put your hand through one leg, pull. Ooh. And then we're gonna do the same to the other. And as you guys can see, as I told you about tucking the fringe in while you sew, now you have your fringes on the outside. So the last step now is pretty simple. I'm going to try these bad boys on and then I'm going to fold the top part. And this is where I'm going to create like my drawstring. And then I'm going to show you guys the final product. All right, you guys, so I have finally completed the tapestry jogger pants. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And hopefully this tutorial is a little bit easier and more in depth than other videos. If you guys did like it or if you tried these out already, please leave a comment down below. And also like this video if you want me to do more DIY stuff. So you guys already know the deal. Subscribe to the channel. The goal is 5K subscribers. And you know, I cannot forget to tell you all, whatever you aspire to be in life, aspire to be a guru at it. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.